Отец Джон, расскажите, пожалуйста, нам об основных проблемах, с которыми сталкиваются православные сегодня в Пакистане. In Pakistan, uh, the first problem is that uh, we openly cannot proclaim our faith. This is the first uh, problem is. Second problem is uh, uh, being uh, orthodox. We uh, and Christian, we cannot get a job and even we cannot uh, get a good uh, education. Then I can say that uh, uh, due to these things uh, we have a uh, poverty. And other thing is that uh, in Pakistan there is uh, if we speak uh, anything, anything and uh, Muslim uh, due to prejudice, uh, due to uh, jealousy, they could uh, ac accuse us uh, for uh, uh, their own purpose and they say that uh, we have done, uh, committed a sin against uh, their uh, faith. So, Uh, according to the law, uh, because there is a blasphemy law, so uh, we Christians uh, can be killed. То есть сегодня в Пакистане христиане они фактически исповедники, да, получается? Yes, we can say as a, according to the Orthodox faith that uh, today is the time when uh, Uh, the persecution, Christian persecution is going on in Pakistan uh, uh, as we can see in, on the internet also and international news also gives uh, the persecution. Uh, one magazine is an uh, international magazine uh, regarding persecution. There you can see uh, all about Pakistan that uh, how much uh, uh, Christians are suffering and uh, how much uh, uh, persecution is going on. Then I can say that uh, one and other uh, organization, uh, free religion in uh, United States, and uh, the member of uh, that uh, uh, conference or committee is uh, very big shots in, uh, Amer in America. And uh, they know that uh, the, such a big uh, persecution is going on in Pakistan. But everything is just for uh, uh, on the paperwork, but they don't do anything. I can say that uh, from our, our side, from Orthodox side, we are trying to have a, a faith harmony uh, program for, with the Muslim. As uh, the first, uh, you know that uh, in Egypt, uh, St. John of Damascus, uh, he was having a good relationship in, uh, with the Muslims in uh, Egypt. And we are also trying to, uh, to being Orthodox, to have a good relationship with them. When they invite me to attend their uh, conferences, I go there. Mm -hmm. Though is uh, sometimes is a uh, very dangerous for me, but uh, I always say that God is with me, uh, surely, and God is calling me, uh, and God is uh, telling me that to go and preach the word of God. So that's why I go. Uh, regarding uh, the martyrism yeah, or uh, persecution in Pakistan, one thing I would like to uh, say that uh, we have to be very much uh, convinced in our own faith and we must convince that uh, uh, our faith is a true faith and we must convince that we, we believe in Jesus Christ. And we, convince, we must convince that uh, uh, the one day will come when uh, we will overcome on the, this, uh, these sorts of problem regarding persecution or regarding uh, other uh, panic situation. Отец Джон, а сколько сегодня членов вашей общины? Сколько людей у вас в общине сегодня? No, I can say uh, more than uh, uh, 500. И какие сегодня вот перед вами лично и перед вашей общиной стоят задачи и перспективы ближайшие? My first goal is that uh, I must give a awareness to my community how they have to come up in the faith and how they have to overcome on the poverty also. And 
my goal is at least uh, uh, spiritually also they must be strong and uh, socially also they have to be strong so for this is a very much important that we gave we have started already awareness program for student awareness for, uh, program for uh, for parents and uh, awareness program for for uh, small children also to you must go to school you must study you must uh, uh, work very hard and uh, you must be uh, loyal to the church so this way we are uh, uh, preparing our people because the goal goal is also there and our expectation also full, uh, will be fulfilled while uh, we are uh, giving awareness to become a uh, educator to be loyal to the church we don't have a church uh, building in our uh, in pakistan and i can say this uh, is a blessing of god that uh, uh, I myself, I have uh, devoted one, uh, my sitting room uh, for uh, a private chapel. So I hope if God will help us, God will give a, uh, us a uh, church, we will uh, have, a, we will build a church. But uh, in that small chapel, at least uh, 50, 40 to 50 people can uh, uh, come uh, during uh, the liturgy. Они приходят по очереди к вам или как? Сначала одна группа, потом вторая группа на литургию. No, they come uh, for liturgy because uh, almost uh, every Sunday we are having a liturgy at nine o'clock morning. So before that they come uh, because uh, it's not approachable place. So that's why they have to come uh, from different places. So they reached in time about nine o'clock because uh, i'm a very much a strict regarding time so nine o'clock liturgy start and before prothesis uh, i finish i can say but for liturgy when i have to start the uh, blessing of the father and the son and the holy spirit so then uh, almost uh, about 40 to 50 uh, orthodox are in the chapel mm -hmm. John. Вот вы сказали, что у вас уже достаточно много прихожан. А есть кто-то из ваших прихожан, кто хочет принять священный сан? Yeah, I have a, I have a, about a six student who are, who are getting preparation from my wife, Rosie. So every day, uh, from five o'clock up till uh, eight o'clock night, uh, they are uh, having classes on uh, uh, Orthodox faith and uh, scripture and then the liturgy and the churches she, she teach them. And this is kind of preparation for them to become a priest. But we don't know if we will get a place somewhere, they will surely, by the, by the blessing of God, they will become a priest. Чтобы вы могли пожелать будущим миссионерам в Пакистане, вот так вот. Yeah, I can say that uh, this will be very good that if uh, some missionary could come to 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 Pakistan from here, because when you people go to Pakistan, at least uh, my people uh, or myself also, I don't feel that I'm alone. So this is a great courage, and uh, I can say. Uh, to strengthen our faith. So the day will come, uh, if today you missionary will come to my country, the day will come, my people will also go uh, to preach the word of God as a missionary to other uh, country also. Спасибо большое, что нашли время для того, чтобы посетить нашу академию, нашу страну, и мы все желаем вам, вашем нелегком труде, служении в Пакистане, Божьей помощи. Спасибо, Господи. Thank you very much, and uh, I can say that uh, I must thank to you because you are uh, really strengthening my faith, and you are supporting me, not uh, 
I'm talking about money with money, but I can say you are appreciating uh, our work and our mission work which we are doing in Pakistan. Thank you very much for this.